All right, ladies, I thank you so much for taking time to watch this today. I know a lot of you are wonderful women, which is why I wanted you on my team. You're all hardworking. You love the Lord and you are all about helping people. And I love that your heart is to learn and to be better at helping others. So we're going to really dive into that today. We're going to learn how to help you really be successful with this Beachbody partnership and what things you should do, what things you shouldn't do. And the really the one thing that holds up most coaches, which really held me up for a long time. Um, I actually have been a Beachbody coach now for exactly a year. I started at the very end of February as a coach. So I've been doing this for a year, but I will tell you, I took a very long time to get started. I made a lot of excuses for a long time. I was working full time as a teacher. I was pregnant. I was busy. So I really started honestly as a discount coach. I wanted Shakeology cheap and I wanted access to any of the Beachbody programs for cheap. And it showed I didn't make any money. I didn't help any people. And I, for the longest time, I really struggled as a coach. And th looking back and really seeing, you know, I blamed, I blamed Beachbody because the website stunk. I blamed customer service because they stink. Because let's be honest, they both stink. I mean, I'm not going to say that's not true. <laughs> I blamed my upline because she wasn't, you know, smart enough. But when it came down to it, it's me. It was, it was me. And this business truly is about, you know, us letting go of the excuses and just giving it what we have. There's going to be things that are frustrating and annoying, but you know what? That's every job. You know, I'm sure as a nurse, Lauren, you run into people who probably drive you absolutely mad. People who you probably see over and over again in the hospital <laughs> that can be frustrating or, you know, the systems maybe that are in play, you see, maybe don't work well or, most of you are teachers and we all know that the education system is a total mess. Like it's frustrating. Every job is going to have hard, annoying things about it, but we have to make the choice to, to look past that and remember why we're doing this. We are in this for others. This is not about us. Yes. Making a paycheck or making money is really helpful. And that money that you bring toward yourself can then be recirculated to give back to your church, to support people. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with bringing money toward yourself, but that's not the main goal that we have here. Our goal is to help make people healthier, better people. And um, the one thing that I, you know, through this whole call, I want you to understand whether we're talking about recruiting coaches, we're talking about selling Shakeology, growing a team, the one thing that truly is going to make you successful as a coach is your mindset. Mindset is the one thing that held me back for so long. I truly have only been seeing momentum in my beach body business for about three months, maybe four. And it's because my mindset was not right. I did, wasn't doing it for the right reasons. I, and I didn't have any confidence in myself and I didn't have confidence in the product. And those things were a recipe for ultimate disaster, ultimately. So when I do these calls with you ladies, it's truly to help you start on the right track. I want you to feel supported and helped. And I want to train you the best way I can and help you to avoid some of those really tough pain points that I went through as a coach. I want you to not deal with those. And I want you to overcome the mind, which is one thing that I'm really going to focus on for a while on this call is mindset. Okay. Um, and, you know, let me dive into that a little bit. Starting as a beach body coach, like I said, it's been a year now. I started, you know, drinking Shakeology probably every maybe twice a week. I did, you know, Pio on my off running days, which is about twice a week, which I mean, I'm not saying you have to commit to doing beach body products every day. But my point is, I didn't dive in and really learn and know what the product was. I, dampered with Shakeology. It was like, oh, it's really expensive. I don't want to buy it every month. So I'll buy it every three months or so. I'll have it like every once in a while. And guys, if we don't truly understand and know our product, how are we supposed to like talk about it to other people? I had absolutely no confidence in selling Shakeology to anyone because in my head, it was just like, well, this crap is expensive. <laughs> so when I'm talking to people about it, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of expensive. So I understand if you don't want to buy it. And it's like, well, no one's going to want to buy from me if I talk about it like that. The only, I truly, truly understood the benefits of Shakeology after I started drinking it every day. When I had Ellie, I had a ton of digestive issues. You know, I had hemorrhoids and everything I used to try to get better didn't help. 
besides shake allergy. When I started drinking that stuff every day, it truly changed my health. Then after drinking it this every day, I wasn't sick. My allergies were gone. I had a lot more energy. I didn't need a nap after work anymore. And I was like, holy moly, this stuff is worth the energy. And I don't have a problem telling that to people anymore. In fact, because I'm confident like that, last month alone, I had like six or seven Shakeology clients. And I don't say that at all to brag. I say that to say, for the first six months, I didn't even have like one Shakeology client. And, and it's because it was my fault. I was too afraid to tell people about a product because I didn't have confidence in the product itself. I didn't know its benefits. I didn't understand it. And I wasn't able to tell people how awesome it was. Um, so that is probably the one Thing that of anything in this call we're going to talk about is having the right mindset is trusting that your product works honestly if you drink Shakeology every day for 30 days and you don't think that it's good then then stop being a beach body coach honestly like I don't want you to exactly yes get out of here and I don't mean that in a mean way I mean like I don't want you to sell something you don't believe in I don't want you to feel slimy I don't want you to feel like a liar I want you to to 100% know that whatever you're selling is worth it and is awesome. And, and this is the same thing with, you know, and now, you know, I do, I'm also do, I'm a run coach as well. Now that I have really refined my run coach program, it has really taken off and it's because I know it works. I have researched and put a lot of time into making sure it works and it's a good quality product and I'm not afraid to tell people and I'm not afraid to say that it's expensive. It's expensive because it's really good. And that's the same thing with Shakeology. You know, a lot of my run clients are on Shakeology now because they need it. It's like, girls, you work full time and you need to get nutrients that are fast. You need to be on Shakeology if you want to be a healthier person. I have no problem saying that with confidence in love, like in serving them to make them better, healthier people. And they take it and they love it. And you know what? If they didn't love it, it's like, okay, they get their money back and they yeah. didn't like it. You know, then that's the great thing. It's like, if people don't feel like it's a good quality product, then at least they gave it a try. But you know, nine and a half times out of 10, they're saying, holy moly, you just saved me a ton of time in the morning and you just saved me a really good quality product. Cause when it comes down to it, you can make it work. I mean, it's not cheap, but for us, you know, in that grocery budget, you know, we buy one, sometimes two bags a month because my husband's been drinking it more consistently. We just have to make it work in the grocery budget. We don't buy the junk food anymore. We don't buy the crackers and the chips. Um, you know, we, we don't put milk, you know, just random things that get expensive. We have, we, since we 100% in our hearts know that this stuff is worth it, we make it work. And, you know, again, I don't know where you're all at financially. I'm not pushing product on you by any means, but I just want you to know for me, I could not, I could not back a product until I knew 100% it worked. So that might take, you know, you really working your budget for a couple months and, and just committing to making it work. And then when you, in your heart, know that it works and you can more confidently tell people the sales will help you to, you know, cover the cost of your monthly auto ship. So I hope that makes sense. Do you have any questions, you know, Lauren, while I'm on that specific question of mindset, I'm definitely going to pick on Lauren here for a little bit because Lauren is super good on the mindset piece. So be ready to talk about that girl. But do you have any questions before we keep going? I don't think so. I just, what I've really been telling people is try it for 30 days. If you don't like it, literally you can send an empty, empty bag back. Like that to me is proof of the product right there. Like I don't even need to drink it to know if somebody's going to give me 130 bags, bucks back for an empty bag. It's good. Yeah. They wouldn't do that if they knew people weren't going to send it back. <laughs> exactly. And you're yeah. exactly right. There's the auto ship shipping is $2. And if you literally drink that or make that whole bag and send it back, you get $130 back. Like there is literally nothing to lose. And right. yet you are so right. And I tell people that all the time because they're like, well, it's expensive. I'm like, then try it. And if you hate it, you got, you got a free, really good quality product for a month, you know? So like there's nothing to lose. And then you take those 30 days to follow up with those people, give them recipes, give yeah. them value, put them in a challenge group, help them feel supported and accountable to use it for 30 days. And they'll, I, I promise you, they'll see the benefits. I literally have never had someone send a bag back ever. Mm -hmm. And it's because it's good. It truly works. And um, we just have to know that in our hearts. And 
Like, I don't ever want you to feel slimy. Like I said, like that's one thing that Team Inspire stands true is like I don't ever want to see those ugly Shakeology pictures on your Instagram saying like all this stuff that's like, and you feel gross about. No, like just be genuine. And if it takes you three months to like try the product and have that confidence, then wait, like wait three months to post about it. I don't want you to feel pressured. Like you have to post right now. I want you to, to be at a place where you 100% know that this stuff is awesome and then start telling people about it. So, you know, talk to your coworkers, talk to your nurses, start building an email list. You know, you don't always have to be throwing stuff out on social media, write a blog post about it. That has shown, like I've had so many people inquire about Shakeology just by posting a blog post. It feels a little less out there, you know, like in the public and people have to click to look at it and make the choice to look. So definitely a great place to, you know, to start there. So, um, one thing I do, I want to pick on you, like I said, Lauren, because I think Lauren truly, truly is one of the best people I've seen get started with the beach body programs as opposed to confidence, because truly every time I see this girl on, you know, Instagram or Facebook, she's so genuine about the, you know, about size, about Shakeology, and she's just talking about how great it is and how it's enhancing her life. So Lauren, I would love to just ask you a couple questions, you know, for just, do you feel like, were you nervous about like posting about this, this, for these products on Shakeology or, you know, on social media at all? And how do you kind of get over those nerves if you have them? Cause truly you do not ever sound slimy. You are so confident and honest and genuine. Like you literally are so good at it. <laughs> so just kind of wondering, like, do you get nervous too? And how do you, you know, how do you get over that maybe? Um, I get nervous. I think sometimes I'm like, oh gosh, people are going to think that I'm just posting like it's a beach body workout and then it's a workout and then it's my running and then it's about Shakeology. I'm like, oh gosh, I'm really overloading these people. But I think when you truly... I mean, I love Shakeology and I was super skeptical and I put off joining Beachbody for, like I had a coach contact me back in August and I was like, mm, not about it because my whole weight loss and everything started with Whole30 and I was like, we don't do smoothies, we don't do shakes. <laughs> this is the main things about Whole30, you know? And so for me to drink my nutrients, I was like, I just don't think I'm going to do that. But when you contacted me, Jasmine, I don't know, it had been on my heart and I was like, I'm just going to try it. I'm going to see. And then on my off days. So I work 12 hour shifts, three in a row most of the time. And when I get home on an off day, I'm exhausted or I was like, didn't want to get out of bed didn't want to get up and fold laundry, clean the house, go for a run. And then I started drinking Shakeology. And now literally I'm like, I got to go do this. I got to do that. I gotta, like I can't slow down. And so when you just, I don't, when I love something, I want the people that I love to love it too. And, um, I do get nervous sometimes. I'm like, well, cause I don't do the size every day or I don't do 21 fix, you know, with the whole meal plan and all that all the time. Maybe somebody's going to judge me, but I was reading the book love does by Bob, Bob Goff. And he says, you know, when, you know, when we stand up for Christ, when we stand up for, for what we believe in, people are going to throw rocks. People are going to judge us. People are going to, you know, say things about us, but that's what Christ intended. Like that's, he didn't mean for us to stand out and, you know, for us to just look good and look pretty and everybody's going to love us. No, he's, he hung on a cross. Nobody wanted to see that. Nobody thought that was good. You know, we just, you got to just put it out there and the people that love it and want to join it are going to. Exactly. And you like literally hit the nail on the head. There is, you could be the, and you are Lauren, you could be the nicest, most genuine, kind person in the world. And people are going to think they're going to hate on you. Like, mm -hmm. but you know what? I bet for the one person that hates on whoever us, you know, you, me, yeah. whoever, there is a hundred, maybe a thousand other people who are thankful for you because yeah. of what you're saying. So we have to get out of our own way and we have to say, this yeah. is not about me. It's not about Lauren. It's not about Kayla, Kristen. It's about others. And if yeah. we have access to something that truly enhances people's lives, we need to help them and tell them about it. And, yeah. and really just, that's another way of serving. And yeah. I don't know if it, any of you saw like the same thing. I, I thought she posted in Team Inspire. The same thing happened to Amanda yesterday. Amanda mm -hmm. Tress runs the highest quality 
boot camps I've ever seen. I've done her boot camps. She knows she's a great personal trainer. Her heart is for her clients. She works her butt off for them. But you know what? Some person was hating on her yesterday. And you know what? It is like, this lady is crazy. But, and it, you know, what if Amanda chose to just say, forget it. You know what? Uh, she wins. Mm -hmm. She would let down 100 of her clients, you know, and thousands of her businessmen. I mean, yeah. it just, it would not make sense for her to stop. But we do that to ourselves. We say, oh, that one person, that one person's going to hate that I want to help people. I'm just not going to do it. And we yeah. just, we can't. We have to choose to do it for the other people. And again, oh, if, if, no, go ahead. If we, and if we feel slimy, like maybe it's the, maybe we just do have to reconsider. Maybe we have to say, okay, I'm not going to post tonight. I'm going to really go back and I'm going to use this more consistently. I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to know in my heart that I, tr that I back this hundred percent. Like, yeah. you know, so we don't have to rush into, mm -hmm. you know, posting or blogging or whatever. Say hi, Ellie. <laughs> Um, you know, definitely do it on your time, but it, it takes trying yeah. the product, committing to using it and truly in our heart, knowing that it's worth it to yeah. then go out and, you know, talk about it more. What else were you going to say, Lauren? I kind of cut you off. Go ahead. That's okay. I was just thinking when I post, I try to think of like the women that are closest to me and what would they want to see? What would they think if I posted this, you know, and if in my head, I think, well, they're going to like this or they approve of this. Um, then I'm like, that's something good to post. Like I think about my mom, my mom, super hardworking woman. She manages a whole business. And, um, for me to find ways that are really quick for her to get really good nutrition or to get a quick workout in, um, she has terrible knees. So she can't run even though she wants to, when I finished my 15 K, she was like, I just want to be able to do what you're doing. And I'm like, okay, but you can't do that. But look at all the things that you can do. Um, and so I think just making it just little bits of our life that it's not perfect. It's not glamorous all the time, but that just shows people I'm real. I work 12 hour shifts, but I still come home. I cook something nutritious and I try to squeeze in a workout and to just kind of break it down for people. I think the people that are interested are going to like it. Mm -hmm. So it's a beneficial for them. I agree. And that's the cool thing about us having jobs as well is like you are surrounded by women who would hugely benefit from yeah. quick workouts from Shakeology because mm -hmm. you guys need, I mean, you get like five, 10 minute breaks for your lunch. I feel like, and just are going all for 12 hours. Like that mm -hmm. is an ideal thing for the women you work with. And you even said yourself, it really has enhanced your health. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's almost like your duty to tell people, you right. know, and granted, like I said, you do have to have the confidence in the product and, you know, you don't always just be like, Hey everyone, here's a packet. You know, people yes. have, when they hear your problems, you can more than definitely share. Um, but yeah, it's, and like I said, we've got teachers on the team. We've got, um, people in all different kinds of working professions that would really benefit from specifically Shakeology. Yeah. Um, so awesome. Any other questions before we move on to a couple other things? I don't think so. Perfect. All right. I've got a couple more things to cover and want to wrap up for us. Um, I just wanted to touch on the, the Beachbody three vital, vital behaviors because I think it very much wraps into recruiting and, you know, selling Shakeology. Um, a huge part of it is getting out of our comfort zone. It truly is. Beachbody's three vital behaviors are inviting people, being proof of the product ourselves, which means using it, you know, using the products. And thirdly, developing ourselves professionally. And, you know, how do these wrap back into mindset and confidence? Well, you know, if you think about, and this person just keeps popping in your mind, like they tell you their problems at work or they tell you, man, I just, I can't eat healthy. It's so hard. I don't, I don't know how to cook. And you just, they keep coming in your mind, then seek them out and say, Hey, we've talked about this before. Do you want to try a sample pack of Shakeology? You know, don't even push the whole bag on them if you don't want to, or, or give them one of your packets for free. I don't know, whatever you, you choose to do, you know, it's going to be a, feel a little awkward and, you know, maybe they'll say no and it, that's okay if they say no, but just think of people who you hear saying things like, man, I need a quick nutrition or I, I use this one protein powder already, but I don't think it's very good, you know, which is like most every other protein powder out there. Um, and, and seek people out. It's going to be uncomfortable. When I started my run coach business, I had zero clients 
And I made a list of 50 people and literally just sent emails or texts or whatever. And I got rejected by probably 40 of them. But if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have gotten those 10 original clients and started my run coaching business. It's going to be a little uncomfortable sometimes, but I promise you in the long run, it will pay off. If your heart is genuinely to help, you know, I don't want you to send one mass text that's the exact same wording to 50 people because that, you hate getting that too, right? You know people who sell Advocare or whatever, and I'm not saying Advocare is like that, but you get these like canned messages and you're like, oh, yuck. But genuinely, you know, if you make it a goal, like, okay, one person a day, I'm going to reach out to, that's 30 people a month, you know, that you reached out to. What if even five said yes, that's five shake clients, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So just think of, you know, a genuine way that like it's helped you. You've heard someone's issues. People, maybe someone's asked you about it or, you know, someone you work out with someone at work who's, who's, who's voiced their issues. And you say, Hey, I know you've mentioned this before. Have you? Would you consider trying Shakeology? Look, you get a bottom of the bag guarantee. It's super fast and easy. Why not give it a try and see what they say? I lately have been offering a gift card with mine as an incentive. Like, hey, I'll give you a $10 gift card if you give it a try. That way, if you hate it, you get all your money back and a $10 gift card. Like, how could you say no to that? <laughs> Just any way to really tell people. Oh, and then saying like, or maybe you want to do a free Shakeology group. I know, you know, Team Inspire is doing one. Uh, in two weeks, hey, we're gonna do a free group that's gonna we're gonna teach you tons of recipes to get you started. You know, add value to help them feel supported, and mm -hmm. you know, to, to let them know like I genuinely want to help you. I'm not just trying to make money off of you. You know, um, and then like I said, we've already really touched on being proof of the product. You got to use it, and you got to know it works. We can't. I mean, we can't. You can't just buy it once a year. You won't truly. I couldn't back a product that I used once a year. You know, I wouldn't, I'd feel kind of like a liar. You know, people say like, well, it's expensive. And you're like, well, no, it's not. It's like, well, you must think it's expensive if you don't use it all the time, you know? So we have to figure out a way to make it work. And like I said, if you don't think it works, like don't, then don't, you don't have to be a beach body coach. And I don't want to kick people off the team by any means at all. But I just, I really truly want you to with 100% conviction say, look, I know it works and I make it work in my budget. And if I can do it, you can do it too. And mm -hmm. I want to help you. Let me show you my meal plan and how, let me show you what I spent at the grocery store to make it work. Let me show you what I cut out for lunch or things I don't buy anymore. You know, think of how you can really help make it work for people. Yeah. And then lastly, you know, the professional development piece is huge. And that will again, play into that mindset of selling Shakeology of, you know, starting whatever, services you want to add along with your beach body is you need to be growing as a person all the time. You know, I make it my goal every day to read at least 10 minutes, a blog about running my book, um, about nutrition, the Shakeology blog, something that's going to help me to learn to be a more educated person. That way, when I do come in contact with runners or people about Shakeology, I am more informed and able to better lead and teach them. And, you know, help them through challenge groups or, you know, whatever it be. So always be looking for ways to grow as a person. And the great thing about our team, since we all, all love Jesus, a huge part of that is reading your Bible. I think the mission of our team truly is to serve people and to show the gospel through our work. And we can't do that if our heart is not in God's word every day. So whatever that looks like for you, getting up 10 minutes earlier, getting up you know, staying up 10 minutes later, we have to be filling ourselves every day with God's word. So, and then we can, we can serve and love others to our truest ability. And that, that mindset too, it's easy. At least I think it's easy to be in it for me sometimes like, Oh, I'm still in Shakeology. I gotta get my points and make my money. But you know what, when I'm in God's word and, and I'm reminded, you know, Jasmine, I have given you this opportunity to serve others. This is not about you. You are here to be a serving sacrifice for other people. And how can you love someone better today through, 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 through giving them Shakeology? You know, how can you enhance people's lives in a way that other people cannot? So think of what that looks like for you. You know, absolutely be in the word every day. And so, and then another, absolutely try to find a way to grow as a person as well. And that will be huge. Do you have any thoughts you want to add on to that or questions, Lauren? I don't think I don't so. Say so. Evan, so. Evan, Dave Ramsey, Dave Ramsey, Ramsey leadership. Leadership. yes, love it, love yeah. it. Yeah, and that's I love. He's a business-minded man, but he loves Jesus. And there, I mean, they don't. 
most people who work there are Christian. So it does bring for a very much a great, at least moral structure, but they talk, they talk, they bring pastors on, they, they truly have their heart in entree leadership is to serve others. And I want people to know when they see our team, when they say you, they know, you know what? She loves the Lord and she truly wants to serve other people through her beach body business. And that is really cool. And I hope that, you know, all people see that when they see you or me or anyone. So perfect. The last thing I want to touch on before we finish up is the, the power of consistency. The main reason people will come back to you. It's not always, it's not necessarily because you're the smartest or because you have all your stuff together. It's because you choose to show up for them every single day. That for me, a perfect example is Amanda Tress. I am a very skeptical step back and watch for a long time person. It takes me a long time to really jump into something. And I was on, you know, Team Inspire for nine months before I decided to do her business accelerator program. It took me watching her for nine months straight to say, all right, I'm going to financially commit to this. And since I've done that, it's been the best decision I ever made. How many other people do you think are that same exact way? They're watching you. Yes, you. Same thing. Yes. I think I reached out to Lauren maybe two or three times, you know, and that's okay. It's not like, you know, it just takes us, it takes people time to really say like, I trust that person. They're legit. Mm -hmm. You know, you see this random person on Instagram. You don't know them as you don't meet them in person. You don't get to see like video until Periscope and stuff has been live. Like you're just, it takes a while to trust someone and people are starting to build trust with you. And it takes you saying, I'm going to show up every day for this person and I'm going to find some way to enhance their life either by, you know, sharing scripture or by telling them something about nutrition or teaching them something about running or just something about life, about marriage, about being a mom, anything. They know, man, I want to go to Lauren's newsfeed every day. Cause she always posts like that one Bible verse. And I love, she encourages me so much or, Oh my gosh, Lauren is so good about talking about being a nurse and, you know, making me remember why I'm doing it. And I just love reading what she has to say every day. Be the person for that. Someone be the person that, you know, if people had to pay money for Instagram, people would want to subscribe to your newsfeed because you provide them with so much good value. And I promise you it pays off. I can, I remember just every day saying I'm going to post about Beachbody or running and it this weekend alone three people reached out to me about either a challenge pack or a shakeology and I posted no lead generators about about it. Wow. They just known because I've been doing it so much for so long that I do it and it just took them a while to jump in and say okay I'm ready like I'm going to do this. Yeah. So, so think about it and think about like, how can I enhance people's lives? It might mean that you sit down with a calendar and write on every day of the month. Like I'm going to, I'm going to share this scripture on this day. I'm going to share, you know, a a truth about nursing on this day. I'm going to share a recipe on this day. Pick how you're going to share value with people every day and do it. And people, it will take them time. Like I said, I took way too long to get into this this beach body thing, but I'm starting to see a return and I've been consistent now for, I think maybe five months, five or six months. And I will not go, but I mean, it truly, I have seen a return. I love the people I work with. Um, it's a lot of work. It's not perfect. Like no job is, but you, it will genuinely make a huge difference in your life and others' lives. If we fix this mind, that's, that's the the one thing that's going to stand in your way, ladies. So just as we talked about at the beginning, Get out of our way, use the product, know in your heart 100% that it is worth it, and genuinely look to help others and serve them. So, Lauren, do you want to add anything else before we wrap up? I don't think so, no. Perfect. Well, I thank you, ladies, for tuning in. Again, you can comment below any questions you have. 